Hello everyone, I'm Bruno and today I will be talking a little bit about fake news and how we might detect them. I'm betting that probably most of you here have come across something like this. This is a tweet from 2013 stating that there were two explosions in a White House and Barack Obama was injured. Right now, we know that this is fake, but back at the time, people thought this was real because, I mean, it seems a real tweet. And this can have a lot of impact in our lives and the way we make decisions. So wouldn't it be useful if there was a feature on Twitter or Facebook or any other website indicating if a given news was real or fake? Something like this, for example. My girlfriend thought the idea was so cool that I should reach out to some people with a vested interest in this topic of detecting fake news or even fake personas. So, I sent Elon Musk a tweet. Now, I won't show you the reply thread just yet, but the main question here is whether or not we are capable of building a system that is able to detect if a given uh, news is fake or not. And the answer to that question is no. Right now, we don't necessarily have that capacity. And this happens because Machine learning models are just not smart enough yet. And one of the main reasons that is causing this is the fact that news data sets tend to have way more real news than fake ones. And machine learning models need lots and lots of data to become smarter. So what me and my professor thought was, well, let's create some fake news. And by fake news, I don't mean uh, fake news in the literal sense, like a piece of text, but rather a representation of what a fake news is as a bunch of features, like the user that publish it, when, where, the number of words in the text, things like that. The more features, the better. But how can we do this? I mean, how can we generate synthetic fake news? Well, by using GANs or generative adversarial networks, they are a slightly more complex structure that is able to produce synthetic data. They are constituted by a generator which tries to produce synthetic data as real as possible in order to fool the discriminator, which in turn tries to spot which samples are real and which ones were generated. And by doing this process multiple times, both entities will be able to mutually improve and by the end, the generator will be able to produce synthetic samples as real as possible. Like this one, for example. This was generated by a GAN. Or this one. Or even this one. And it's not just about images. It can also be video. Oh, sorry, I think there was no sound, but uh, he, was think, he was saying, I am not Morgan Freeman, and this is not real. Um, but you couldn't hear that. Moving on, um, uh, I think the examples that I've shown you speak by themselves and truly show the capabilities of what GANs can do. So what me and my professor thought was, well, if GANs provide such good results in image and video and even audio domains, why not do a domain shift to the news domain so that we can produce synthetic fake news, as I said previously, as a bunch of features and not in the literal sense, so that machine learning models can have enough data to become smarter. And thus, they will be able to detect if a given news is real or fake. And this can be quite useful for places where people can get their information, like Twitter, for example. And it might not just be useful for them, but it might also be useful for, let's say, the people behind them. If this was real. Uh, thank you very much. If you want to know more about our work, please reach us out. Thank you.